What's up everybody and welcome to the Ultimate FIFA series episode number two. We kickstarted it off pretty well in the last episode to be honest with you guys. If you missed it and want to see all about how the rules and everything like that work, go and check that out and we did one game of one of the building up the club midweek kind of series episodes and we got ourselves, as you can see if we take a look at the squad, End of era check. Oh yes, he's very, very good. I mean, we've got a squad of absolute non-rare gods, to be honest with you. Adam Lallana, with his two goals in his first game. Best 1,400 coins I've ever spent. Jake Tosin, banging himself a goal as well. And then Damari Gray, come on, flying off the bench to get us the win, was absolutely magical. So that allowed us to get end of era check. And now we've got a very solid goalkeeper in the in, in the goal essentially that's where goalkeepers go and hopefully we can start in this episode building up the rest of the outfield players so that's basically what we're going to do this is a midweek episode you guys seem to really enjoy the concept of this series and be very excited about it smash 10,000 likes so we're going to have two midweek episodes for you guys this week there'll be one today and there will be one on Friday so if you enjoy it and want to see more regular stuff I mean the more episodes there is midweek the bigger the club's going to get the more sick players are going to have options to use in the gym badges and the score builder showdown at the end. So keep smashing that like button. Let me know any suggestions for the series down in the comment section. And we're just gonna crack straight on into it. I mean, the fun part of this series is that going into the episode in the week, I have literally no idea what we're gonna be doing or what is gonna be happening. There's so much stuff on the wheel. Pack to glory, coin air, speaker point earners, steal a player like we did in the first episode. We've got draft to glory. We've got, oh, there's absolutely all sorts of different stuff. So. Depending on how the wheel spins, depending on what it decides, depends how we're going to be upgrading our team and doing our FIFA series today. So, they are all some of the best Road to Glory style FIFA series that there has ever been. And we're going to spin the wheel and choose from one. And that is what we're going to do today. So without further ado, let's give this wheel a good spin. And we'll be seeing what we're going to be getting today. Episode 2, to upgrade the team, we will be doing... Coin earner. Oh, I like it. So then, for the rules, we're going to keep it really, really simple. Easy to follow along with. Easy to upgrade our team. Every win we get is 50,000 coins. Every draw is 25,000 coins. Get 10k for scoring a goal. And if we manage to get a hat-trick, it is a 50k bonus. So, we're going to jump in. We're going to play some games in Div Rivals. We've got the team, as you guys can see. I'm going to upgrade some of it probably as I go along. So if I get my first win, maybe I'll grab myself a six striker or something like that, or a sick right winger or whatever. But if we've got a coin total at the end, you guys can help me out in the comment section. And basically, I'll give you guys some options of some stuff to spend in the coins. So we're going to play a few games. If we manage to build up a hefty coin total, you guys might be choosing me a marquee sign at the end, or maybe you can decide to pick me up like a whole defense. If we've got like 150K to spend, yeah, we could get Van Dijk. Or we could just get a whole defense to go in there as well. Obviously, we'll be keeping these guys in the club. They are options, the non-rare Atani in the squad below showdown, as you will absolutely love to see. But yeah, I suppose we should just jump straight into game number one. 50K for a win, 25K for a draw. Goals are extra. Let's get into it and let's earn ourselves some coins in this series. Oh... Jesus, opponent number one has got an absolutely sick team. But, uh, I was just about to say, but it's all Premier League, so we can steal some. But that was the last episode. <laughs> we are coin earning today. So, it was actually very, very close to taking over to Potluck. That is filled with all of the build up your club road to glory style series that you guys think are the best series on Free Forever. Whereas Potluck is like one that I sort of thrown in there myself, which I quite like the idea of. So maybe we'll come on to that in a future episode. But for today, we're trying to get a win and we're trying to do it with a non-rare team and get some coins. It's gonna be difficult, we're gonna to have to proper try hard. Richarlison's actually just been upgraded, but I think he's now rare, which is kind of unfortunate. I thought we were about to start with a kickoff goal. Backed ourselves 10k literally from the first corner. Who on earth is number three? Is that Harry Maguire? Harry Maguire, you absolute slabhead with your 46 shooting. If just banged in a. I don't want to call it a rocket. But get that coin total up and get me 10,000 coins in the bag. Oh, what is what is Allison doing? I don't even know. But I will take 10,000 coins. Very, very nice. I've just realised as well that we forgot to put in the rules something for a rage quit. I feel like we should have 
the special bonus should work on rage quits as well. So 50k if we get a oh, get the ball out. There we go. 50k if we get a hat trick. I'm not sure Harry Maguire is going to get a hat trick this game. No, 50k if we manage to make our opponent rage quit, which is unlikely in Div Rivals, but you never know. We've been stung by our own hero, <laughs> Adam Lallana. That's unfortunate. This guy's got his... Was it a foot swap? That's poor. That is poor. Yeah, foot swap Lallana, 86. All oh, the things I would do for that card after the performance he put in for me in the last game. That's poor. That's a, What is Klein doing? I don't know if I've dragged him out of position there or he's got out of position himself. That's so bad. That's a pen. That's a pen. Oh, we love pens in this series. Okay. Thank you very much, Laporte. I don't know why Koscielny's on all my set pieces, but he can get off. And we'll go for the classic stutter, bottom left. There we go. Well done, Jim. That's two, that's that's a lot of coins. We've just, we just had an extra 10K and 25K for pulling it back to a draw. So we're up to 45K. All right, that is good. That is coins to spend. We're doing all right. We're getting the coins in the bag. We're guaranteed 20K. And if we can get a result, we can get some more. Where is Luca Dina and why is Harry Maguire playing everyone in the Nanon side? Come on boys, what are you doing Klein? He's just auto lunged and completely missed the ball. Oh, it's so hard playing against people with sick teams. <laughs> well, I don't know what Petacek's doing as well. People told me very bad things about him and maybe we made the wrong decision. It's fine, all right, we've still got 20K. Oh my god, Richardson's actually sick. Holy moly, that is what I am talking about. <laughs> that is not rare. 77, what a beast. Okay, subs have been made. It's free also, what's that? 30k from goals, 25k from drawing. All right, this is coins. This is, that's quite a decent amount of coins thanks to that absolute banger by Richardson. If we can nick a win, if Damari Gray can do the business again. The difference is when he puts his players in the right position to intercept it. They actually intercept it, <laughs> whereas my sort of just fall over themselves. <laughs> but we're doing all right. Please get there. Please get there. Oh, and just the 50-50s is a massive difference as well. Every single 50-50, this guy wins. Well, in James Mill there. Come on. Oh, no. What is this game doing? Where on earth is Dina? Not like this! <gasps> Koscielny! Oh my god! Oh, I scored anyway. <laughs> oh no! There goes for 25k. Alright, 81st minute. I don't know why Koscielny's on the free kicks, but we do have Luca Dino. Shh! He's got 57 free kick accuracy. He scored so many. He's got worse than Tosin. He scored so many for us this year. Alright, James Milner, Hammers Milner, 25 yards out. Top bins it, James. Oh, we almost did! Oh, that was so close. No, not like this. Not like this. Oh, the dream of the draw is gone. Jaden bloody Sancho at the back post to 5-3. It's 30k. It's 30k. But it's not what you're hoping for. There we go. That is the end of the first game. Not too bad. We're still just getting used to our team and getting a bit of a feel for it. We've earned ourselves 30,000 coins and I feel like the most fun part is going to be spending them. Hopefully by the end of this episode, like we will start smashing through some games now and just showing you guys some highlights of what's going on, getting some coins in the bag. And you guys can help me spend them at the end. There's got to be some bargain level players that we can like put in the team and help us grind out some results. So I'm going to go take a look. I'm going to go spend some of the coins and we will keep some in the bank and you guys can help me decide what to do with them as well. Okay, I've had a little look on the market, and here comes the fun part. We've actually spent quite a chunk of these coins because we've got two what I think are absolute bargains. I'm going to be honest with you. One of them, the second one in particular, is a ridiculous price. Now, the first one, I actually managed the snipe, which is pretty cool. So he's a little bit more expensive than this, but we managed to pick up Striker Rashford for 5,900 coins. The new upgraded one with five-star skills, four-star weak foot. He just looks quite good. I mean, we were struggling a little bit going forward. And I think maybe some of that is with 80, 80 rated non-rare toasting. 
He's not particularly good at anything, is kind of the problem. He's all round average at everything. Whereas at least with bringing in Rashford, we can maybe bag more goals and get more coins. So that is the logic there. I'm going to bring in him for Tosin. And then this one, so that's 5,900 coins spent. This one is an absolute steal. We've managed to get ourselves an 84 second special card, Ross Barkley for 18k. This is actually cheaper than his 82 rated inform, which is ludicrous. The reason being you can't trade this into complete SPCs and need team of the week players to do that, which is what the inform counts as. So this is a set, this is a steal. 18,250 coins for five star weak foot, four star skills, six foot two, medium, medium, really good all round stats. It is actually ridiculously good. So I'm very, very pleased with this. I've used his first inform and it's a joke. So this one, I can only imagine, is going to be even more incredible, and he is coming in there. So we've spent 24,150 coins, leaving 5,850 in the bag, but made two absolutely sick upgrades for the team. Let's jump in, let's play some more games, and let's get some more coins. Come on, game, give me a nice opponent. <sighs> Every day, this is like, what are we in, day four? He's got that Duke Hori again. That seems to be a really popular card. No questionable choice of left back with that Laporte, but fair enough. Otherwise, this team looks absolutely insane. Oh, no! Oh, he's offside, thank Christ. Boys, we're actually smashing it. Richarlison's insane. I would love, actually, to get he is 84. His one to watch is 30k. His inform is a striker, actually. So the 84 one to watch, 36k. We need to start begging some coins. I mean, we could afford it if the scoreline stays like this. Come on, Richardson. Go on, go on. There we go, there's 2-0. Who on it? Was that Lucas Torreira? This has been a very... It actually was. It's been a very scrappy game. Very, very cagey. That was the next big chance, and we bagged that as well. That was, again, quality from Richarlison. I really want a special card. Please go in. Please go in. You are kidding me. How has Richarlison just missed an open goal? I was literally just about to say that is such a good goal. It's so frustrating that there's nothing else that you can do other than just press shoot and hope that he actually aims for the open goal instead of trying to kick it in the corner and miss. I don't really have a free kick take up other than Rashford. I don't know if it's a lay it off or go for the smash. Do you know what, I'm just going to pass it to Walker. 3-0, there we go, we scored anyway. And there's one for Rashford. There's 4-0, go on, please rage quit. Give me that extra 50k. Boys and girls, we have absolutely smashed it against that sick team, right? 50k for a win, 50k for a rage quit, and four goals is 140,000 coins we've just earned. Plus the 5,850 we've already got, 145,850 coins. Oh my lord, what a performance. Do you know what? We're going to treat ourselves. We've got 145k, going to treat them myself straight up to the special Richardson. I couldn't help it. Look at that. 11 shooting, 8 passing, 7 dribbling, 5 physical, 4 pace. Whew. Baby, he's going to be good. Okay, he's going in the squad. He just cost me 34,750. So we've now got 111,100 coins. Like I said, the biggest weak spot at the moment is probably Theo Walcott. Maybe the, maybe the defence a little bit is that, but going forward, Walcott does man nothing. Now, there's a few options we can go for. We're going to go into a game and earn some more coins, and I'm going to hit you guys with them. And you can let me know whether you think we should go. I'll talk to you guys after the game. Let's jump into one more match. Hey, oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is it with that Ducore and Div Rivals? Oh, Christ, he's got <laughs> two prime icons, three player of the months. Oh no. I mean, we've now got one to watch with Charleston. Oh Christ. There goes player the young for Baby Ang. And there goes 1-0. I'm not not convinced by check. I'm not convinced. Come on boys. Come on. Here comes the cat set.
here comes the counter. There's not the perfect time for Ness. Okay, against Van der Sar as well. Oh, that's actually beautifully well worked. I was just thinking in my head of my little half-time speech, basically saying that, yeah, this guy's good, he's decent, but it's, the thing that's keeping him in the game is his defense is incredible. And then we just picked it apart like that. That was magical. All right, so there we go. There's half-time. We're doing all right. I mean, most of my shots have been very, very speculative from the edge of the box because this guy's defense is just incredible. Like, player of the month, uh, road to the finals, and... Uh, Future stars and all of that stuff. No, 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 How has he scored from there, Check What are you doing? You're meant to be the good player in the team. Oh, this is not looking good. This is not looking good. Come on, Check. I'm getting dabbed on by a guy with a three billion coin team because he's just about beating me with a non rare squad. <laughs> oh, Christ. Okay. Cool. I mean, at least we've got 10k. We, we could come back into it, but bringing Damari Gray off the bench, I'm not sure if it's going to rescue this one. That Gendouzi, by the way, is unreal. Like, ridiculous. Processing. Okay, okay. Maybe we can. Maybe we can. Is Vandersaw definitely should have saved that as well. Like, my check should have saved the other one. There's free two. Should have dabbed. I should have dabbed. That's just stupid, isn't it? It just is. That's just having a mental team. Oh no, no. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter, does it really? Petr Cech is very lucky because he's offside. He's also terrible. And also, that was the 93rd minute of two minutes of extra time. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so what did we do? We lost, so no coins for that, but we did score two goals. So we bagged ourselves an extra 20,000 coins and got ourselves up to 131,100. I mean, look at that, we actually did really good. It's just unfortunate, he just had a mental team. Like, sometimes you just can't win and you've just got to accept it and that's absolutely fine. I mean, he subbed on Butcher Wayne, oh, for Christ's sake. I subbed on James Milner. <laughs> But we've got 131,000 coins to finish the episode off, so it's not all bad. We are still chilling in Div 4. We did just lose some skill ratings. We're actually lower than we started now, which is kind of frustrating. The fact that it took 30 points off me for losing to that team was funny. But never mind. 131k. Let's jump to the squad screen and I'll talk to you guys about my ideas. Alright, so basically, this is what we've got. And my current weak spots are probably my centre backs and Walcott. The dilemma I've got, and I'm going to put it to you guys, is that I can either spend this 130k across the board in the team, but my issue with this is that currently decent level cards are ridiculously inflated because of all of the SBCs. So for example, just a normal like Jorginho, for example, who's usually not really worth anything, three or four thousand coins. I think he's going for about 10k at the moment. Mikatari and stuff like that. Obviously I don't want them because I'm fine with Torreira and Lalana. So what I'm thinking is maybe the best thing to do is to use this opportunity where we can just get one huge player and get rid of Walcott for like the new upgraded Sterling or for Salah or someone like that. On the wheel is a lot of stuff like Pack to Glory, Draft to Glory, where we're going to get a lot of just packs and stuff to open and we'll get random, we might get a John Stone so we can throw him in and we might get someone else so we can throw him in. We can just stock the club up with players we can use the squad of the showdown. But I'm not sure how often we're going to get the chance to actually buy a sick marquee player and spend all 130,000 coins of it. So, I mean, I'm open to your guys' opinions, so please do let me know down in the comment section if you think I should just go and, like, spend 130k on a new defence and a decent right wing, or if we should just go big and get Salah. But for now, we're going to leave it there. Episode 2 has been pretty good. We've got three new players into the squad. Obviously, we've still got a long way to go, because even when we've made our start in 11, we need as equally good backups so that Atani can't guess the players in Squad Lushan at the end. But for now, we're going to leave it there. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I'll see you on Friday for episode number three.